Subgenius Sunday School. Sodom and Camorra and Lot's wife. After 30 years of marriage, Lot and his wife were getting bored with their sex life. It had lost all the excitement of the days before his wife's sex change operation. On Saturday nights, Lot would go down to Bob's porn shop and watch videos in the booths and read Swing as magazines. While he did so, he would say to himself, if only I could get my wife into swinging, I sure that would spice up our sex life, but Lot's wife was too frigid for that. So Lot came up with a plan. He got his wife real drunk and drove her around in their chariot until they just happened to stop in front of Sodom and Gomorrah's sex club. Hey, I know. Let's sneak in and just look around, Lot's wife was too drunk to argue. So they went in and said hello to Ed Sodom and Sam Kamora, the owners. Then they started touring to club. The first stop was a large basement window in which a fat man boob neck bearded loser was having sex with the pie. Lot looked over to his wife and asked, that do anything for you? His wife answered well, his boobs bouncing up and down make me wish my tits were that big, so they went on. At the next room, it was decorated to look like a men's room at a subway station. And there in one of the stalls was a dirty, scab-covered man. He was fellating a line of men dressed as homeless winos. Lot looked over to his wife, but she looked totally bored. At the next room, there was a large massive blubber in a purple dress, doing a horrifying belly dance. They both quickly left the room before they vomited. At the next room, there were nothing but mattresses laid on the floor with a huge mass of naked flesh throbbing on top of it. Lot could not resist and jumped in the middle. He looked over and saw his wife looking even more bored than before. All of a sudden, from the other side of the room came a commotion. A dark-skinned man strutted in. Hanging from between his legs was a penis that dragged on the floor and a pair of large hairy testicles that were the size of grapefruit. Lot thought to himself, crap they let them negroes in. The black man strutted over to Lot's wife and said, hey honey, I'm Joe. Joe Cosby. Lot's wife could not talk. The sight of Joe's massive man meat was too much for her, and she ripped off her clothes and they ran off into another room. And Lot's wife discovered what a real man was. And Lot did get angry and ended up living the rest of his life with the flabby belly dancer in purple. The end.